every year I write a battle rhyme for the entire top 10 of Billboard. No disrespect, it's just the way I practice. Always remember, if you're in the top 10 of Billboard, I have a rhyme to battle you straight up that will destroy your career. Check it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen. I say it's great in this world to always be an MC But somebody in this world is always beefing with me Every time that I could rock it, Supernatural does the stun it But do you know what it's like to live the life of the hunted? Everywhere you walk, yo, you're always a target Whether I'm shopping or buying food at the market Cats wanna battle me and kill my carcass Yeah, that's when the hour really is the darkest But listen to me, Spark, this as far as I can free I learned from Cool Mo D and Busy B When KRS-One, this MC share It's probably the one that I think sticks out in everybody's mind and I think probably set a standard uh, was the battle between the Juice Crew and BDP, Boogie Down Productions. As hip-hop grew in the mid-80s, New York's different neighborhoods began to take credit for its creation. Was it the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, or Harlem? Me and my man C. Shan made an uh, <laughs> intermission record for Queensbridge party that we used to have in the park out there at Queensbridge. The 70s and early 70s is when, you know, the hip-hop started out there. They was playing in the park. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen we got MC Shan and Molly Marl in, Marl in the house tonight. tonight. They just came from off tour. Off they want to tell, tell you a little story about where they come from. Mr. Magic, who at that time in the mid-80s was the pinnacle and the height of what it meant to be an on-air DJ who played hip-hop music. He was the man um, known around the world, Mr. Magic's Rap Attack. And here you had up-and-coming artists, KRS-One, Scott LaRock, uh, bringing their record to Mr. Magic and him not feeling it. KRS-One, Scott LaRock. This is how we barge in. Yo, this is Boogie Down Productions. KRS, Scott LaRock. Here's our tech. We're performing right there, <laughs> like this. So obviously, Mr. Magic is like, who are you? Get out of here. And at the same time, Mr. Magic was also supporting uh, a number of MCs that included Master Ace and Craig G and Big Daddy Kane and all these other folks that were collectively just called the Juice Crew. We leave frustrated. Magic dissed us. He wouldn't even give us the time. He wouldn't even, who he think he is. Now, somewhere along the line, we get the impression that Mr. Magic said, our tape was whack, whack, whack. He heard it and said it was garbage. I said, garbage? MC Shan is garbage. 